Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our tribute run here. And we've got a lot of stuff to do today, starting with getting some fertilizing done here on this field. But we've got to prep our soybean fields, so that's a lot of work there. It's a full four-step process. Now, I do have the uh, guidance steering stuff turned on that I, we talked about in the last episode. i kind of realizing that for stuff like this, probably don't need it. It's easy enough to steer the the uh, sprayer. Um, but for kind of some of the other equipment like the cedar and things like that, I think it'll become a little bit more handy. Just sold a bunch of clothes in the last episode, as you guys saw, and then we bought us a brand new cedar, not to be confused with a planter. This is for our eventual sorghum and wheat. And then of course we can also do soybeans with it. So kind of excited about that. Although it was, it wasn't cheap, but it was half rice. So can't go wrong with that. Now, we don't have the field for the sorghum yet, but one of the reasons I was delaying is because I didn't know if I had the money to pay for the rental of the cedar every year, since it does, it's different from the one we used for cotton already. But now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Now we're a bit, bit, bit tight on money. Uh, this is going to be a... It's going to be hard, this harvest, I think. There's a slim chance we might have to sell some clothes early when harvest time comes up, if we're low still, but I think we'll be okay. Once we sell the soybeans in July or June, whichever one month it is, uh, it should give us just enough to get us the harvesters and stuff. But it is going to be tight again until next season. Although, you know, I could probably check for some... I thought there was a new new piece of equipment there. I looked at it wrong. Um, that we could justify maybe doing something else. Like we got a bunch of fertilizing jobs here that would help pay for some stuff. A spraying. I don't worry, care about the spraying job to be fair. The only reason the spraying job comes into there is because I can get the equipment really cheap to, th to then go around and do the fertilizing. Which might not be a bad idea. That'll give us a few thousand bucks. Make a little bit of a dent in some of this stuff that we're doing. And we got, we got a lot of stuff to do today, so we've got time to run some contracts on the side, you know? So let me get that set up here in just a moment, I think. Get this field finished up and get him moved over. I suppose technically, if I get another tractor from a contract, I can also use that tractor to do some seeding with our cedar while we're doing planting with the other thing. I can run both at the same time. What's the horsepower on that thing? I should have checked that probably. <laughs> probably should have been the first thing I checked. Uh, cedars. No, 240. We're good. We're good. This, this tractor for sure is good, obviously. I, I would like to get another tractor, like I said, but 240s, you know, should be a mark that we can hit pretty easily. All right, let's get you over to this other side. I 
I'm actually going to just run from this other side over here, I think. I think I'd have the guy in steering turned on as, as locked on to the 180 degrees as I am right now. <laughs> Get the worker going here so I can fill up some contracts. All right, we're going to grab the spring. It's actually a pretty good piece of equipment. Borrow the items for that. Then we will grab the two biggest fertilizing, which are actually close together, so that's good. Accept and accept. Cool. So then we can grab you. That is a giant sprayer. And we need to get some fertilizer. Probably need to buy a little bit more actually. A lot of money, but <laughs> and it's basically these contracts are just gonna pay for the fertilizer I just bought. But uh, we'll have some left over, so it's not a big, big, big deal. Maximum efficiency. I don't know what that's referring to. Um, so we want to go to field eight and nine. I don't know if there's a way to see what those achievements actually mean to mean, uh, because I don't have the Steam version of the game. I have the, uh, I just got it from the Giants website. So I don't know how to check those achievements. I can look it up somewhere, I'm sure. This is a giant sprayer. get you to drive up there on your own my friend just so I can check on the other guy oh there's actually all three of them are up here did not realize you're no you guys still got some time not quite done yet there's not a place in here to see the achievements are there mm, don't think so No. Okay. No big deal.
guess this isn't actually that much wider than the one we've got. The one we got is... It looks wider, though. But the one we got is 24 meters, so this one's 27. It's only 3 meters wider. Now, you can make this one even wider, I think, or at least you can get a version of this that is very, very wide, like up to 40 meters or something crazy like that. All right, get the worker rolling here and check on our guy. He is thinks he's done. I'm being lazy over here. All right, done. So our cotton is ready to go for another year. Now we just got to get our soybeans all set up. I like this putting wild lines on the field. It's kind of weird. Guess they are rolling through some lime. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought I was going to hit that building. I did a terrible job of turning there, didn't I? It's like, why is my seat? Why is my seat cover opened up still? Kind of weird. Man, I, <laughs> I don't think I've done this this badly before. Oh my goodness! All right, I got it now. I got it now. I think I'm good.
All right, nicely done. Let's get you rolling. Go check on our other guy. He is already started. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. He just went right to field nine. He's just going to keep on. I guess that's efficient. So we'll take it. Field eight, uh, contract eight is done though. We can cancel that one or return that one, I should say. Uh, collect and let's pick up another one. We'll pick up 53, I guess. Although three and five are up here with us. So I guess we'll do three and five first. All right, I'm going to be right back in just a minute. We're going to let this move on for just a few, and i got to go take care of something, but I'll be back here shortly. All right, we are back. Just finished up field number nine, heading over to field five now. We'll get that knocked out as well as, was it three, I think, is the other one? I'll have to come back for a six later. Oh, we're not going to be able to do this in one pass. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Actually, did the map button again. I've done that so many times. I guess I hit my left uh, control thing just a little too hard. Where I'm actually clicking it instead of just moving it. Alright, so there's field five. Next, I think, was field three. Oh, there it is. Field three will accept you, and I guess we'll take 53 as well to get that one rolling. Oh, you're having some issues, my friend. I goofed, guys. I normally put a little bit of a, either put a little head roll on one side or I start him on the side closest to the field. And I forgot to do that this time. And I had to get up and go do some stuff. So I wasn't watching him. I had to, I had to go check on the kiddos. So, well, here's what we're going to do. It's not ideal. We can make this work. We're just going to complete this row with soybeans. And... Um, have less cotton for a round, which is not the end of the world. We can make that because we can't see cotton again right now, right? Because it's already, already past the time for cotton. But we can just go ahead and finish this, this row here. It's not. It's fine. A little weird. So I can't get this lined up. <laughs> I used to be pretty good at driving some of these things. All right, so is uh is that part of that row still cotton? No, it looks all sorbing. So, I mean, this is about as close as we're gonna get, I think. We'll just have to make it do. Uh, I got a little bit of a missed bit there, but I don't think it's gonna matter too much. I don't want to straighten that little little indent up though. <laughs> I know it doesn't matter. That's gonna make me feel better. There you go. Alright, so that's again annoying, but not the absolute end of the world. We could we can definitely make this work. Um I will not make the same mistake on the other side, because obviously I will actually this time start the row 
<laughs> closest to the uh, to the cotton, and I'll remember to do that in the future. That is one thing you will learn about me is that I will make mistakes. Usually, don't make mistakes more than once. I usually learn from my mistakes and then find ways to adjust. Although I do reserve the right to let enough time pass since said mistake and forget that it actually happened and then <laughs> forget the learnings as well. <sighs> I'm just going to blame it on the the dumb, the dumb teenage kid that I just hired to go to see that field and he just he was sitting there you know looking on his cell phone looking on on uh on the the twitters or whatever that whatever you young kids use and um <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> he was not paying attention or he was talking to his girlfriend you know you never know what's what, whatever dumb teenage boys do and i can say that because i used to be one <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it a field half and half before. <laughs> like I, I assume it still works properly. I don't they can't think of a reason functionally why it wouldn't work. It's just kind of funny. We'll have to be careful with the rolling and stuff. Uh, the spraying should not be a problem because we can we can spray the same stuff that's already been sprayed. That won't hurt anything. It's just the rolling that we'll have to uh, be careful of. And it's possible we don't roll the, all the way up to the edge, which again is also okay. Uh, and then the harvesting will be obviously a little bit awkward as well. But I think we can make it work. And again, if we accidentally use up some of what's um if we accidentally overlap a little bit and like eat up some of the soybeans when we're trying to do the cotton you know that's that's fine too i mean one little meter width of soybeans that we overlap it's not gonna hurt anything all right get you back over to here see if we can get this guy finished off <laughs> well there's one for the books guys i, I don't know if I don't know if I've ever actually done that before, but again, I don't usually just get up and why is this not working? Oh, there it goes. I don't usually just get up and walk away when I'm, um, well, I guess I do a lot, but I usually, um, it's a little bit more controlled environment. It's probably just the width. Honestly, it's just the fact that that thing is so wide. It can cross over the, the gap between the two fields. You really can make me do this little bit over here. Apparently. There we go. Alright. Um, that is done. So that's another one in the books. And that's all the spraying and fertilizing ones. So we'll go do 53, I guess. Because I do still want to use this equipment for it.
Or I could just grab the equipment at my farm. Oh, no, no. I still need this tractor, so yeah, we'll go over there. I guess... No, I can't, I can't do that either. I was going to say I can go ahead and do this one while I'm here, but no, it's, it's a different, different chemical. You doing all right, my friend? You doing a better job this time? Slightly, except now you got like a meter width thing there that you can have to go back and do. That's probably my fault for being too overlapped on the other side. I'm just going to have you drive there because I want to go check on that other guy. Make sure he is okay. Come to here, my friend. All right, so soybeans are going to be done. Extra, extra done. Let's go get our seed dropped off, and then we can turn this equipment back in. All the seating we needed. Um, turn you back in. Now we need to do either the herbicide or fertilizer, doesn't matter which. Do the fertilizer first, because that's just the order I normally go in. And actually, we're going to go ahead and cut in there. That'll be it for this episode. Um, yeah, so next episode, we'll finish up the fertilizing, herbiciding and contracts and stuff and just hopefully be in a good place monetarily to do um whatever wh whatever harvesting we need sorry i got mind blank for a second there but i do appreciate you guys watching may god bless you and i hope you join me again next time thank you and goodbye i wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members thank you so much for supporting the channel